I'm having some header exhaust leaks and I'm wondering if that is what part of my problem is on why my Phytech is running so rich. Welcome back to the garage, the place where we are talking everything Phytech and now everything EFI. So today what I'm working on is my head gaskets. Wait, no, header gaskets. So I have the Phytech EFI on my 1975 Ford Bronco. And from the beginning or somewhere around the beginning, I started noticing that it would always try to go rich when I was driving around. And so I'd always go in there and punch in the numbers and try to make it go more lean. And I was like, what is going on? But it hasn't been until recently that I think I've kind of figured out why this is all happening. So the thing that's the most important on these EFI systems, the Phytech, the Holly, the Sniper, uh, or Holly and Sniper, that's the same one, Edelbrock, um, is the wideband O2 sensor. And where that wideband O2 sensor goes is it goes in your exhaust and it reads the exhaust gas that comes out of the engine and it goes into the exhaust pipe. But the thing that is so important with those wideband O2 sensors is that that gas is not contaminated. It doesn't have anything else coming in, which includes no outside air. And so a lot of you guys who are just running like headers and a, you know, shorty little tailpipe, you're probably having some trouble with your EFI system because there's fresh air coming in the tailpipe that is messing with your wideband O2 sensor reading the exhaust gases coming out of the engine. That's why I think I'm having trouble because I'm having some header exhaust leaks and I'm wondering if that is what part of my problem is on why my Phytech is running so rich. So you guys have seen, uh, I just put in a new camshaft in this um, and my Phytech handheld controller isn't working. So I'm kind of just going off of feel, I'm going off sense here. Uh, but the other thing that I can totally tell is that I have some exhaust leaks going on. I, I know that there are um, definite leaks. You can hear it when the engine's running. So I'm gonna take the header gaskets off. And I'm gonna take a look at them and see if we can't figure out if we've been having some leaking issues. What you see up here are like detonation marks coming out of the exhaust was still burning fuel essentially like i know i'm way way oversimplifying this but that's kind of what you're seeing here are these detonation marks so there are a lot of things that can contribute to what's going on here and why this is happening but from the time that i've been working on my engine and knowing the phi tech and probably what's going on with a lot of your engines is when i put these header gaskets on which was when i replaced my long tube headers you can check out that video um, but when i put these header gaskets on i had already had my phi tech on it had already kind of learned with my stock uh, manifolds usually what would happen with a header gasket is you'd tighten it down you'd go warm up the engine, take it for a drive, uh, kind of get the engine up to operating temperature, get it hot. And what would happen is that metal would expand and kind of sealing this gasket to the head and to the uh, header. And then you would tighten it back down one last time and you know, kind of hope that it never untightens as time goes on. But with the EFI, with the, the Phytech and with these different EFIs, what's going on is that a wide band O2 sensor is reading, hey, we've got fresh air in our exhaust. We've got coming into these exhaust gases, we have got this too much air in our air fuel ratio mixture. And so we need to dump more fuel into it. So most likely what was happening was when I was trying to break in my header gasket, 
uh, my fight tech was actually fighting me and dumping more fuel into my system which was causing this detonation through the exhaust which is why I've been hearing these exhaust leaks and this like ticking coming from my engine. So when I was doing that video for Bronco Garage, Michael Duff uh, introduced me to these Remflex uh, header gaskets. And the reason that these are so cool is because they actually are made to like crush. They're made to compress. But the thing about them is, is even though they compress, even though they crush, they are still a really reliable header gasket and you aren't you don't have to retorque them no retorquing required these are perfect then for the Phytech, for these holly systems for the edelbrock proflow like these are the perfect header gaskets because with all of those systems it has that o2 wideband o2 sensor that is going to keep dumping fuel into the system if it senses any exhaust leaks so for you guys who have been uh, experiencing exhaust leaks or experiencing uh, too much fuel added in your air fuel ratio mixture and like me you had to keep going in the handheld controller and going lean definitely check these out i'll put a link in the description below uh, where you can get them on amazon so what i'm going to do now is I'm gonna throw these bad boys on there take it for a test drive and say goodbye to my exhaust leaks again these are the Remflex exhaust gaskets check that link below I can hear it it sounds so much better uh, definitely took care of the ticking and hopefully I won't get that detonation like I was having earlier. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.